guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm sharing with you my top 10 products under £10. As you can imagine it was quite difficult to pick my top 10. I guess this would be the equivalent of America's 10 under $10. £10 is a little bit over $10 but makeup in the UK is way more expensive than America. But let's get started with the items that I have picked and hopefully you agree with some of them but do let me know in the comments what you think. So I think a nice place to start with is foundation and this probably won't surprise a lot of people but my favourite foundation is L'Oreal True Match. I wear the shade N4, it's what I've got on now and I really really do like it. A lot of people compare it to Armani Luminous Silk. But I actually prefer this. I love that it's like £9.99 so I can use a sponge and I don't worry too much about it soaking up the product. And to be honest, I just think it's a fabulous foundation. It looks decent in photos. Maybe not so much flash photography because it has got SPF, but otherwise it's a really, really good foundation. Another foundation that I love from Drugstore is the Bourjois Healthy Mix. However, I suspect it's possibly breaking me out because it is quite perfumed, but if your skin isn't too sensitive, it's definitely worth checking out. My second product I actually can't find, which is so annoying, but it's the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, which I love. I do have the foundation, but I don't don't love it anywhere near as much as the concealer. This for me gets a little bit oily but it's not the worst foundation either. But the concealer is just perfect for the under eye, it's not too thick, doesn't look cakey at all. It kind of gives you that wide awake look in my opinion but if you're looking for something a little bit heavier I really do like the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer but for me I think that the Rim will wake me up just kind of gives me a finish that I like a little bit more. Onto powder and there are so many excellent powders. I really like the Bourjois Java powder. I really love the Revlon Nearly Naked I believe it's called and also um, everyone loves the Rimmel Stay Matte but for me personally the Bourjois Healthy Balance powder is just in a league of its own, you can't see it on the skin, it's just really finely milled but it kind of keeps all oils at bay and really helps set your makeup. So definitely worth looking into. On to cheeks and my favourite ever drugstore blusher is one of the Bourjois Baked Blushes. I have it in like a special limited edition packaging but they're all the same and it's in Rose D'Or. Rose D'Or? I don't know how, I can't speak French basically. Excellent colour, it's just beautiful the skin it's not too pigmented which I like because it kind of gives you that like a glow but it's like a rosy glow but it's not like crazy clown cheeks or anything like that I don't think about it too much it's just my go-to blusher whenever I need to just run out the door and I would definitely recommend checking out all their blushes contour my favorite is still the sleek contour palette I use light the highlight is okay not necessarily the best but it's it's decent and I do use it every now and then. It's, it's what I've got on now and I, I do like it. It's just not the best ever. Um, but the contour is excellent. Once again, it's what I've got on now. Um, it's just it's just really good for a drugstore, I think. And I've gone through so many of these. The highlight does crumble really, really easily. But the, the contour lasts ages. And I've gone through about six of these. And I finished them completely. So I'm almost a little bit embarrassed to show you. I'm not sure if I'm going to open this for you but you can't really see anything on the outside either. I should probably get a new one of these, but it's the MUA Pro Brow. I just really like this. It's got free, it's scrubby. It's got free shadows on the inside and a, and a like wax. I mix the two browns and the wax together and I just got it on now and I really, really like it. Then the Rimmel pencils. I've grouped these together as one, but the liners, eyeliners and lip liners are excellent. Um, I have them from all the ranges, so I've got Lasting Finish, Exaggerate and Soft Curl, really really good, I've got on the lip liner in East End Snob from the Exaggerate line on now, I also have the Soft Curl black liner on and this is my go to red lip liner, they're just excellent and these are like under four pounds which is just amazing and definitely worth picking up then i really do love the revlon color burst matte balms i just think the shades are beautiful and the finish is incredible they last really long and they're just i just really like them they're quite bright they're just a little bit more exciting than a standard lipstick i don't really love like crayons because i just think they're a bit sheer and they don't really do that much for my lips but adore these and would definitely recommend checking these out. And then lastly my favourite lipsticks would probably be the Rimmel Kate lipsticks. There are some 
incredible lipsticks on the high street. I don't think you need to go to MAC. Really, Revlon do excellent lipsticks. Um, Bourjois, excellent lipsticks. And then L'Oreal Reds, incredible. But I have gone for these because I've, I've kind of bought all of these myself. So I kind of think that that shows how much I really like these. I've got four of them. I've got number 32, which I don't necessarily love. It's, it's okay. I'm not too sure that this kind of shade suits me. Number one, which is an absolute must-have. It's like a dark red. Um, number 30, which is one of my favourites. It's like a purpley colour. And then also number 30, which is what I've got on now over that lip liner. But it's also an excellent lipstick. And then in terms of nail polish, I was so tempted to pick Essie. Because technically they are under £10. However, I think that they're still a bit expensive. So instead I've picked... Barry M. I haven't actually picked up any colours in particular, so I'll leave my favourite shades below. But here I've got Vintage Violet and Mid Midnight Shade, no, Night Shade. And these are both such beautiful purples. They're not what I've got on, but they're like £2.99 maybe. Excellent quality, especially for the price. Shade range is beautiful. Their glitters are incredible. And they're just definitely worth checking out. I thought as a bit of an honourable mention, I would talk about my favourite ever nail polish shade, which is Models Own Beach Bag. Models Own polishes are also excellent. They're £5. By the way, they've got a sale coming up, I believe, on the 29th of January. So it's worth keeping an eye out for that. I'll leave a link to their website below if you're interested. But they're just really good quality and their shade range is pretty extensive as well. That's the end of my makeup picks under £10. I hope you enjoyed the video and jotted down a few products that you yourself might try. They're all really affordable and I know that in January we're all a little bit more broke than we'd usually be. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!